Hello everyone, this is Thunder Collect here with another action figure review, and here we have the Retro Card Symbiote Spider-Man figure. So I am excited to get this guy open. Don't worry, I know this will hurt a lot of people if I open it, but I do have a second one coming, but it's from GameStop, so it won't be here until like February, uh, in like middle of February. So I will have one that's still in package, and I'll have in the background with my other one. But yeah, this is the one that I'm going to open I couldn't wait to open it, so I'm just going to do a review on it, and then, yeah, I'll have another one that is not not opened. So, yeah, let's go over the packaging here first. So we get the retro Spider-Man logo here on top with the retro com Marvel Comics logo there in the corner. And then we got the symbiote Spider-Man here in the billboard that we've been getting. You can get the pic uh, figure right there. Nothing on the side, top or bottom. Here is the back with that same retro... Uh, Spider-Man logo here, Symbiote Spider-Man. Here's that billboard picture again. If you guys want to pause and read that, you can. And then in this diagram here, it's showing how you can switch off the hands from wall crying to swooping to fist. And then here's all the figures for this wave. So we got Spider-Man Mark 1, Hammerhead, uh, Hobgoblin, uh, Ben Riley, Spider-Man, and Marvel Shocker. And then here's the DCPI for whoever wants that. And then, yeah, that's all we got. So let's crack them open. And then here is the retro spidey out of the packaging here. So let's go over the accessories first. So we get the wall crawling hands with the uh, black primary paint. And then we get the white strip there on this forehand there that he has in this series and most of the comics. And that's where he usually shoots out his hand when he uh, shoots his web out of his hand with the symbiote. But uh, later in the comics, he did make a fabric one because he loved the design on it. So... I really like the design on the costume too. So yeah, there's the wall crawling hands there. And then we got two thwipping hands. Same deal going on here. Black primary with the white uh, stripe there along the forehand. But yeah, we've seen these sculpts before. So yeah. And then here is the retro Spidey up close. So we got a new head sculpt. This is a brand new head sculpt. Whereas the body it is from the retro Spider-Man uh, figure from like... I think it was like a year or two ago. I think it was two years ago because I remember I was still in high school. But yeah, here is the head sculpt. So uh, we got the black, I meant white out eyes with the new like eye decal, I guess. It's more accurate to what he looked like in the series, animated series. And we got the nice matte black paint going on here. And we move down to the torso. We get the alien spider here, but we get these black lines here along these like sharp parts of the legs which is kind of weird. I would like them to keep them white completely, but it's not going to get me mad. And then here's the backside, but this time they didn't do that. So that also kind of throws me off a little bit, but still it's not going to make me too mad about the figure. I, was, I still love it. It's awesome. But I love the white design. It looks clean. The lines look really clean around it too. It goes all the way around from under the arms to here. And then we got the blacked out legs. We still got the pinned joints, sadly, though, because, you know, they used a mold that was made before they were doing pinless joints. And we got pinned elbows still, too, still. So it's not going to make me too mad. And then we get that notch there so you can look up farther. So, yeah, and I don't know what's going on with this back there. But, yeah, pretty cool sculpt. I love the paint job and everything. Looks pretty clean. But yeah, let's go over the articulation. So his head has a double ball joint, so you can look up that far with that notch. But everyone's complaining about the whole head's basically getting lifted off there, which doesn't make me too mad about it. But I can see why some people would be a little upset about it, especially if you're doing one making pictures on these. You need to look left and right. Lots of head hitting there. Uh, shoulders can move up just that far. Uh, he has butterfly joints. Uh, right now, my figure is still a little stiff, but that far, they do a good job on hiding the butterfly joint too, which is nice. But yeah, 360 rotation around the shoulders. Like I said, still pretty stiff. Bicep swivel, double jointed elbows. Wrists can hinge down that far, up that far, 360 rotation. And then we got a diaphragm joint that makes him go forward just that far, backwards that far, side to side motion, some twisting. And we also got a lower app crunch here, so with all that, you can go forward that much more, backwards a whole lot more. And he also has to drop down hips, like the Retro Spidey did here, so 
It doesn't want to move too much right now because it's still kind of stiff. But yeah, it has it. Like, that one wants to drop down pretty, a lot. So yeah, that one drops down a lot. This one's still kind of stiff. It's not wanting to move too much. Uh, it wants to kick out. Well, let's we'll use this one. This one wants to kick out about that far, pretty much almost a split. And then forward a whole lot there. Backwards a little bit with that drop down hip. And then you got a thigh cut. Uh, double jointed knees. And then shin cut. Ankles move down that far. Up that far, nice ankle pivot. And then here's a little side-by-side -side comparison on the sculpts. Obviously, different head sculpts, but besides that, same sculpt, just different paint jobs. So yeah, that's the Retro Spidey figure for you, uh, Symbiote Spidey. So yeah, he's a really cool figure. If you do see him, make sure you grab him because this guy's going to be pretty hard to find and he's going to be pretty expensive too. So if you see him, don't take a chance on losing out. Make sure you grab him. Especially if you're a big Spidey fan like me. Uh, I went to the Target and there was like four of them. Uh, one person before me grabbed two of them. And then uh, another person after me, I grabbed one because I did order the GameStop one. I ordered a second one, like I said. And so I only grabbed one. And then the other one right after me grabbed it. So it sold out pretty quickly. So I was glad I got there in time to grab it. Um, but yeah, I, like I said, great figure, same sculpt, new head sculpt though. Um, the only problem that I really have is the pin, the pin joints don't make me mad or anything like that, but I feel like the joints are getting like a little gunked up from the paint, I guess. I don't know. It's kind of hard to move the joints a little bit around, but I'll move it around and maybe it'll loosen up a bit. But yeah, I like how they gave us the wall crawling hands too, whereas the other retro Spidey, we didn't get any wall crawling hands, unfortunately. So yeah, I heard there's a rumor that we're gonna get another Retro Spidey two pack with, I forgot the other character that's supposed to be in it, but uh, we will get another Retro Spidey figure in a two pack, uh, hopefully with wall crawling hands. So yeah, but besides that, I like I said, grab them. Um, if you guys want to help check out my link tree and help support me on TikTok, Twitch, or Instagram, go ahead and check that out. But besides that, thanks for watching.